Hello friend, welcome to our channel. Today we will go through the garage management system. One might ask, you know, why you need a garage management system software. But think about customer point of view. You need software so that your customer can easily book uh, their cars or their automobiles for servicing or for other service or for other products. Let's go through how garage management system work, particularly the garage master, which is a very good selling products out there. So we will show you how to set up the system as well as how to use effectively, right? We'll go through all the modules. So let's get started. Okay, so once you have purchased and you know set up the garage system, install it on your server. After login, this is how it will look like. So, you know, you might want to go through the set of wizard. Like, you know, there are over here, what you see on the screen is, you know, we have done six or seven, six steps. The steps that we have not done is supplier and observation live day, which is why there are three dots that still needs to be set up. All the other setups are done. So, you know, go through the setup wizard uh, once you are using first time as administrator. And this setup wizard will help you set up the system easily. So you see the dashboard where you have the new cars that is coming up on the calendar then these are management reports free services paid services once you have populated the data this is how your dashboard will look like so dashboard will be primarily used by the management or the you know support people when they have to do any servicing and all those things so now let's just go to settings where you know we'll go okay to so you know you will enter the system name as your garage name your email address phone number you will add those details then you know you will upload your garage logo the cover images for the system where you know whenever you have go to profile this is the image that it'll look like and you also have the profile image now so these were the basic settings now go to other settings where you know you have the opportunity to localize the software for your for example if you are from uk you will set the currency as pound if you are from Nigeria, you would do the uh, Nigerian rupees as a as a uh, currency. Now let's go to access rights. So here we have different user roles, uh, and you know, you for different modules, you can limit or give extensive rights to the users. So these are modules on the left, whereas the check boxes are view, add, update, delete, and own data. So this is how you restrict the access, or you extend the access to different modules depending on the user role so super admin might have all the rights whereas customer may have just their own data access the garage technician might have few more rights which is employee so you know depending on whatever your processes or flow in your garage you want to set up the system and the access right module gives you the flexibility to you know set up the system as per your need and the flows and processes that you have at your end you know Accountant might be just given access to uh, accounts, income and expense things. The garage technician might be given to access to the job card and services. Uh, support staff would be just for the, you know, appointment booking and all those things. So as you can see, the accountant might, you know, you might want to restrict the access to just accounts or something like that, or maybe the customer module. So this is, you know, use it at, uh, you know, extensively to control who has uh, rights to what we also have the branch uh, module so you know branch admin you might have number of branches where branch admin might be able to control what access they have right so this is very important module now let's go to email templates where you know you have different emails that's going out to the customers on uh, you know successful appointment booking or you know user registration or the job uh, job car creation or the service completion or when the wash bay uh, uh, process is completed so over here you can customize this email templates easily according to your need right so that is also a good module now let's go to uh, you know users module so in setup wizard the customers so let's add one customer so you know when you are trying to add a customer you want to capture as many data as you want as you can uh, so first name, last name, uh, the display name, company details, uh, date of birth, you know, sometimes it is important if you want to 
you know check the driver's uh you know age for the driving or not email details uh the system allows uh the garage master allows for the customer to log in and check their own records normally this kind of system doesn't allow a customer to have access but over here you can give access to customer they can see the service reminder they can see their own invoices and everything over here so that's why we are allowing them uh, the email password also the mobile number so that you know uh, you can also send the reminder on mobile if you want to do sms uh, integration sms gateway integration this could be used also customers image and the country and so this is the address that you know the customer's address that you can specify over here for further communication the customers why we are giving customer access because at the end of the day customer feels more value when you are giving that uh, access to the system they there is a transparency that you bring into the system you will build the trust if you are giving access to your customer right and also this is a self service portal so sometimes you might generate invoice and they can easily pay from uh, their own uh, customer area right so this is important so we have done the customer now let's look at the employee so who are the employees ideally these are your technicians automobile technician these are the guys who would do the service to the vehicles right free service or paid service so these are the technicians so you add your technician as a give them employee role right so again capture all the basic details you know email phone number date of birth employees also need access because they are the one who will be assigned the job right so that's why the email and password for the employees again the mobile number if you want to get the reminders to give the reminders to employees as well uh, the mobile number would be useful and again you have the password and confirm password so that they can access the system securely uh, then you have the landline number i mean if they have the landline at home they can be used the joining date which is very important because you know you want to make sure that you have there might be payroll and all the processes that you have so joining date is important you might want to upload some extra documents when they are joining uh, designation mechanic you can give any uh, different uh, designations and then their home address so you know you can define the address their home address in the capture in the system so this can be useful for further communications and things like that you know and also sometimes you know these addresses can be used in future as well at the government compliance you might need to keep all this data even if the employee has left the company so this will be used in those circumstances so depending on what country you are you might have different government compliances so now we have successfully created an employee and the employee tick comes up so this is how you create an employee the support staff now let's look into the support staff so these are the basic step uh, to set up the system you know you might have the receptionist you might have the gatekeeper so these are the people who is support staff right you can designate as a support staff role again we are going with the same thing i mean you know you add all the details and everything right i will not explain further on these things but you know this is you add email and password and this is the support staff is going to call the customer for services and call the customers for you know if their uh, car is ready and out of the service so this is the user that will do that okay so now we have the support staff successfully created and the tick comes up as well i mean if you are setting up a system new so now let's look at the supplier okay so you know in the system we are capturing the supplier again the first name and last name we will capture company details also will capture so as a garage you might have a lot of suppliers and you are taking a lot of inventories from the suppliers so you know the system captures all those details for the billing purpose we are also capturing the company name we are collecting the supplier email but you know the password is not there because the supplier doesn't has the access to the system it is for our reference okay so you can add all the details basic details for the supplier their mobile number their email landline their address and everything and this would be used for the communication purpose only but they don't get access to the system 
if you want to give access to the system to the supplier you might want to do it through customizing the code but we envision that that won't be needed so that's why you know so once you have filled up all the form of fields you can just click on submit button and supplier is created the reason we are adding supplier because you might want to take the inventory okay so you might have a lot of parts that you want to add into the system you know in typical garage you are replacing a lot of parts so the supplier is created and it comes up earlier it was three dot now let's go to vehicle so you know the system is designed for the garages as well as a car showrooms as well you know car showroom can also use it so let's add you know you might have a new inventory from new uh, vehicles so let's add vehicle types so car bikes hatchbacks you know different type of vehicles you can define and there might be different brands like you know bmw or audi or you know uh, lamborghini you can define those uh, brands over here and you know you can also define the type of vehicle you might have the sports car you might have the hatchback you might have the sedan so that you can define over here fuel type diesel uh, petrol electric you can define all those over here in the in the segment uh, for now let's just select the petrol and you know we can define so we select Hyundai as a brand and we might want to select the model name you know uh, Hyundai Grand Vitara Hyundai Grand 10 i10 i20 so you know we can define that when adding the vehicle we want to make sure that we add as much detail as we can so that you know we the system can work precisely and then once you have added the brands and you know model number this can be reused you know all the time you know so if it is new vehicle you know you might have the zero rating on the odometer but you might have the different price right so over here we can just add the price and then you know you might have the number plate if the car has been you know dispatched uh, to the customer and you know you can define it over here which branch you have sold it from so you can define that as well and then you can just submit it you know you might also want to define the color and all those things not necessary you can also add the picture of the vehicle so let's just okay excellent so we got the vehicle inserted now grand dance boss is bloody good red car the tick comes up again the vehicle now let's look at the products so these are the products uh it's actually so we'll enter the product number this would be a unique product identifier number uh pr267851 uh then you can also uh you know add the date where you are actually headed this product in the library so for now we'll add the tires uh, there could be uh, multiple branches you might have so the branch which is useful in that segment so now this is the manufacturer Apollo tires or Michelin these are the tire manufacturers so you know you can create a manufacturer in the system and then assign it to a particular part so we'll assign Apollo tires as a tire supplier for cars uh, the pricing uh, for individual uh, product and then colors and different other variations that you can also define over here it's optional field but it's always good to have it then you warranty and it's of measurement uh, that whenever you receive the inventory for this product you want to use that unit now this is important Bavina industry is the supplier so Bavina is a local uh, supplier for the tires of manufactured by Apollo tires and that's just added it over here so now the product has been added so we got the product inserted now let's let's add the purchase so this is actually the inventory that we are taking in so we we'll select a supplier selected manufacturer the product name is tires or maybe you know we need to have a cooling system then we will select the different manufacturer name we have got the price that uh, you know for tires and we have added the inventory for the tires now so you know whenever there is a tire replacement you will look into the inventory so let's look into the observation library observation library is important because you know whenever you are doing any servicing and you are trying to collect 
you know when you are creating a job card you are trying to identify what's the problem in which segment of the vehicle right so that is where you will have the remarks readily available in the system so we call it observation in the system so let's look at how so you can add the observation depending on the brand and vehicle so checkpoint it would be you know something like uh, you know excel or something like that or it can be a general checkpoint right so you define whether uh, the brakes headlamps something like that as a observation point and then when you are creating a job card you will use this observation in the in, in creating a job card so because we got all the points clear in the setup wizard so so thanks for listening uh, to us we cover the setup wizard today uh, i hope uh, you've been able to do all the setup task and once you are done with the setup wizard you just go to job card uh, or service module and create a new job card create a new service and you know you are all set to run your uh, garage business with the garage master thanks for listening to us do not forget to subscribe to our channel and you know wait for the new and exciting videos thank you